Oh, it's been good. Um, been a lot of fun. Obviously, a great honor to play in this bowl uh, and be a part of this with this team. So it's been good so far. Nice. What what spot are you playing this week? Uh, you know, been working, uh, been working mainly at right guard. But you know, whatever Coach Henson, whatever Coach Riley uh, put me at, I'll be I'll be good to go. Just repping things. Uh, obviously, a huge transition next year. Where do you see your future at long term? Huge transition, just in terms of the offseason. Really, in terms, in terms of the offensive line, replacing guys, moving mm-hmm. guys around. Right, right, right. Yeah. Where, where do you expect to be position wise, long term? Uh, I don't really know. You know, I'm just kind of focused. You know, this week, one day at a time, one practice at a time. Uh, like I said, you know, whatever Coach Henson, whatever Coach Riley have planned for me down the road, uh, in terms of next next year, you know, this off season, you know, whatever it may be, I'm I'm ready for them. I'll uh, I'll be ready when the time comes. But like I said, right now, just focus on this week, focus on uh, Tulane, things like that. Is it strange just sort of imagining a future without Brett, without Andrew in it? It is a little bit, you know, just knowing uh, they've been here since I've been here, way back in 2020, COVID year. Um, those guys have just been rocks, you know, especially on the old line where consistency is such such a high value. You know, they've just been so consistent day in, day out. You know, just smart, physical dudes. Um, they will certainly be missed. How do you try to, like, you know, carry on for them as terms of, as far as being like a leader for this mm-hmm. position. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, you know setting the standard in the room. You know, living up to that standard, practicing at that standard, um, whatever it may be. Especially you know we got a big freshman class coming in. We'll have guys coming in, you know, um, all the time, and uh, just teaching those guys uh, what the room's like. You know, how you handle yourself daily, whether it's weights or off, off the field work or uh, you know whatever it may be. Just how to carry yourself, how to how to invest in the details and things like that. Just you know keep setting the standard that those guys set for me. Yeah, how curious have you been about the transfer portal and who you guys are going to get and tracking all that stuff? Uh, I mean, a little little bit here or there um, if uh, a coach or teammate says something, but I'm not looking too much into it or anything. Like I said, just focus on Tulane. Uh, obviously, I know Coach Henson and Coach Riley are handling all that. And, you know, I trust whoever they bring into the program. I'm excited to work with whoever it is. So Coach Henson was talking a little bit about Cortland and how he's kind of handled this season. From your perspective, how have you seen him kind of handle the situation where he starts as a starter and then obviously lost his job? And then I know he, Coach Henson said he might be playing a little bit more in this game. How have you seen him just handle that whole process? Yeah, I think most importantly, he's he stayed locked in. You know, even when things weren't going his way all the time, he just kept trying to get better, kept trying to work at his practice habits, work at his body. Uh, work at his mind, things like that. Just you know, offensive scheme. You know, O line's tough because it's so many, it's so many little technical traits and things that you got to work at every day. And the second you start losing them, you know, it's hard to you got kind of overcompensate and things like that. So just he's done a great job just working daily and you know, trying to get better every single day, working at all those things. He kept he's kept a great mindset. Uh, he's been he's been great he's been great in the room the whole time. You know, never never any drama or anything like that. So I appreciate him for that. You look back to yourself last year. What's the one thing you do so much better now than you did a year ago? Uh, I think a lot of it's just understanding myself, understanding, uh, understanding what works best for me. Maybe I think uh, Coach Henson and Coach Crabtree have done such a great job at, at uh, obviously teaching us as a unit, as a whole, but also kind of diving in a little more deeper personally with each of us. Like, oh, how how can you win given this scenario, given this play, given this defensive formation and just again the more you know the offensive scheme the more you know defensive schemes the more you can kind of you know be on the tack and, and uh, set yourself set yourself up for good situations so i think it's always just kind of building on those things usc has a bit of a recent history of underperforming in the bowl game just because you know the season's over it's been a long layoff what gives you confidence that this team feels like it has a lot to play for in the game? Yeah, I think we absolutely have a lot to play for. This is a great bowl game. This is such a prestigious, you know, being a New Year's Six game, things like that. And I mean, we've been practicing, practicing great, practicing like you know any other normal week. You know, even though we've got all these events and all these great things, we're trying to keep our schedule consistent to how it's been the whole year, so that it does just feel feels like uh, you know all the other practices, all the other games we've had, building up the year. Just 